Hey, hi guys. Welcome again. This is Stuart from Airshow World. And uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to um, import some frequencies into um, Easy Scanner um, for the um, Whistler, in my case, the Whistler TRX2 um, radio. Now then, let's see what we're doing then, shall we? Okay, so this is tutorial number two. You probably saw tutorial number one a little earlier. And um, that basically tried uh, as best as I could to explain about um, using vScanner folders or CDAT um, folders. Now, if you've watched that, you will know that um, I created um, a CDAT folder and, and it was in sequence VS. 017 which is that one just there yeah I'm probably talking nonsense at the moment um, but um, that will <laughs> it'll all make sense in a minute basically what I'm going to try and explain is how to really easily and quickly get frequencies into your radio and get them running as fast as possible without having to just sit there and type for hours and hours on end yeah which is so time consuming um, here in the United Kingdom we're not as lucky as the USA in the USA the um, everything's all set up for them we've got a fantastic resource um, called a radio reference guide and um, yeah they just put in their zip codes boom, and the radios are basically all set up but we don't have that facility here in the um, United Kingdom anyway less of the waffle and more getting down to work okay so what i do is i have created my um, myself a um account on millscanners.org um i find that a, an excellent resource <coughs> you'll have to excuse the voice not feeling good okay what i'm going to do i'm going to click on vhf slash slash uhf frequencies with a bit of look um i know i'm uploading videos and all sorts of stuff at the moment so it's possibly running a little bit slow so let's see what we're doing um a couple of people have said oh i can't get the um mill scanners um to work well look looky here see it says loading database i think we ascertained that the problem is down to um, browsers. Now, I'm using um, Windows 10, and the browser that I'm using is uh, Google Chrome. Works perfect on that system. So if you have any problems where the database for these frequencies will not load up, I recommend um, trying Google Chrome. Because basically, I know it works. Okay, this is why I like this system really well. Now, for example, if you wanted um, to um, find frequencies, say, for, and by the way, this is just for um, airfields, airport, that sort of thing, okay? And if you hear that noise in the background, that's my whistler <laughs> actually working on digital. Right, what we're going to do, um, example, let's type Coningsby, C-O-N-I-N-G-S-B-Y. Watch how fast that is, yeah? To what it's done it has um launched it has sorted through that database very very quickly uh, and it's found those you can select here let's go for 100 just in case there's a few more okay let me refresh that i wouldn't have thought there's any more than that yeah one of 36 frequencies that is found okay so what i'm going to do i'm doing this with a mouse and i'm just Scrolling down, 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 down. Okay. I'm going to say copy. All right. Now, what I like about um, using um, this actual resource, um, mill scanners, is that it shows across here last time somebody actually um, heard that particular frequency being used. Yeah, it relies on people updating the information and what have you. But as you see, all of these, yeah, um, 11th month, 
or find the year 16 so yeah you know it's um, they're active these these are being used like some frequency resources they are you know, many 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 years out of date and a lot's happened over the last few years so less of the waffle I've copied that yeah, into the memory of the laptop that I'm using okay now as I'm sure you know this is the um, Whistler easy scan software now I put it into copy watch I'm going to click on clipboard yeah now then it's now um, from the um, memory of the computer of the copy it has put all of that information and it's tried to guess it's gone okay well let's have a think about this it's thinking okay yeah well that column there that column there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and what i like about <clears throat> using the mill scanners is i like the way things formatted in that to get it into your radio fast so this is the important bit where a lot of people um fall down they just click import by doing that and go hey I can't see anything there's nothing there what you must do you've got to work out which are your frequencies so I'm just going down you know it is down this line here it's put all the frequencies where they should be so click on that tab column okay scroll down frequencies yeah I don't want to import United Kingdom waste of time okay I don't want to import that I don't want it to import column three because we know it's conic speed yeah let's have a look at this one number four see what's in there mm, not too bothered what I do want it to import is column number six right so in there click on alpha tag got it um, and that's got useful information such as the approach, the tower, operations, air to air, blah 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 blah, all the way down. Yeah, you'll find that useful. So I've only got two columns selected. Click on import, okay? As you can see, as fast as that, it's imported all of those frequencies. You imagine how long that is going to take. For you <laughs> normally to um, import input that data okay it's all done okay so there you have the alpha text in other words that's the information it's going to show and it shows in the scanner frequencies or where they should be mode I've I'm going to keep those auto squelch I've, I've got search um, because some of these um, will be UHF frequencies and um, they will have certain um, codes I'll, I'm not going to go into that right now um, but that's something I can explain at another time um, frequencies to lock out I would I'm not going to lock anything out now but the annoying ones are things like the ATIS um, which you might want to lock out at some stage yeah the ATIS is the information they relay permanently it's running over and over again about the airfield information runway what the wind is everything like that okay um let's go across dun, 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 dun. you can if you want to all of these are left blank at the moment but so for example <clears throat> you wanted um this whole particular um b scatter folder um, should I no? Let me put it another way. You wanted this scan list to um, show a certain colour, yeah, so that you know that you've got Coningsby um, displaying on your radio at a quick glance. That little light on top of your radio will actually turn a certain colour, yeah. And you can do that by clicking in there. Um, again, I'll show you another time for that because I want to keep these videos as brief as possible, okay? But I will run through these on another video. It's easy to do. Um, <clears throat> here's the modes. I've set all those to auto. There's going to be nothing digital on the ones I've just copied. They're all going to be AM or FM, okay? 
one thing that I always tend to do. I like to record everything. So, see that record column? I'm going to go Control A. That selected everything by hitting Control A on the keyboard. I'm going to go click in there. Right now, click. I've clicked back over there to deselect. And you notice there's a yeah a dot in each of those boxes. So in other words, what it means is all of those will now be recorded when you send this to your scanner. Okay. Scan list. Okay. What have we got here? Okay. Um. What I've got selected at the moment, it's gone for the default, which is scan list number one. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay with that. What I shall do. Yeah. See scan list. Oh, what's the point in having to say just scan list? That doesn't make any sense at all, does it? So, I've gone to the general tab. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to type Coningsby. C O N R N G S B Y. Coningsby. Enabled. Some people have said <clears throat> to me, oh, it's the memory radio, it's not scanning, it won't scan anything. Quite often, the reason for that is you might have forgot to put enabled in there. Make sure it says enabled. If you've put something in scan list number two, and you say, hey, it won't scan. Yeah, that's because you've not got it enabled. Make sure you enable it, but it will not scan. Okay. Now let's go back to the scan lists. Da -da 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 -da, all the way down there. Notice that now says scan. Coming's me. Yeah. Everything. Sorry about that. Okay. When you import things, they will import to your conventional frequencies. Remember, I'm only talking about conventional frequencies at the moment. Um, I'm not going into chunked radio at the moment. Okay? Conventional frequencies. If I very quickly go back here, let's go for um, Waddington. There you go. Fast as that, Waddington frequencies. Da -da 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 -da. Straight down. Copy. Right click on the mouse. Copy. Do, do, do. Back here. Let's have a look at the. Um, I'm going to click this button here to put them all in sequence. Yeah. You noticed? Zero. All the way down. Yeah. It's 34. Remember that number 34. Okay. Click mode. Here we go again. Frequency. That's the one I want. Don't want that because I'm going to call the actual scan list. Waddington. I'm going to move across. Let's have a look. Yes, we shall go for number six. And alpha tag. Okay, I'll always double check. Alpha tag, yeah. That's the name. Frequency, yes. Number 34. Import. Okay. Scroll down. Okay. So then. Everything after 34. Down to there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've clicked that with the mouse. I'm now going to click the um, shift key. Okay. On the keyboard. Shift key. And I'm going to click. Um, a left mouse click with the uh, on the mouse da -dum. and that selected that lot there okay I'm going to come across here see where the mouse is click in there what I'm going to do I'm going to take that out of there I'm going to click in there <clears throat> and then I'm going to click set all of those now say two and also, while I'm here, go to go in there to click for record. Okay, so all of them are going to be recorded. Personal preference, if you don't want them recorded, don't record them. Okay, so what we've got, we've got Coningsby and Warrington. Okay. If you go across here. Now, 
Here's a little quirk about um, the easy scan software. You notice that the Coningsby stuff's there. Aha, but my Waddington stuff is not. Yeah. It is there, <laughs> I can assure you. To prove the point, what I'm going to do is just reopen the fee scanner folder, which you, if you saw tutorial number one, you remember what we're talking about. Okay. Notice that still says Birmingham area. I'm going to change that soon. There we go. Boom. Boom. Let's have a look. Number two. You notice my Waddington stuff's now there. Yeah. Proving the point that it is there, but it wasn't shallow. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Let's go back to the general tab. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to type to the what into yeah enable it yeah. remember what I was saying if they don't scan the frequencies don't scan chances are you're not enabled very important you got your advanced features tab here okay another reason why things might not scan is because you have not got them selected in a scan list yeah cast that for a second so it makes more sense these are scan sets I'm not going to go into the full explanation for scan sets now but that could be for another tutorial if I get requested for it okay but basically what it's saying at the moment is it's going to in the scan list it is going to scan one of 200 oh, I'm going to click that off I'm just going to have those two okay set it's going to do that one Back to general tab, and there we go. Okay, so recap time. We've imported from mill scanners frequencies very quickly. I have put them into scan lists. I've showed you how to set names for scan lists. Final thing I'm going to do the scanner description. Remember, in number one, I'll call that Birmingham area. I'm going to change that to um, military aircraft. MRT military aircraft. There we go. Again, it's always personal preference or whatever um, open the scanner folder and now military aircraft yep yeah. I'm going to cancel that because I've already got it open um, right that's all I'm going to cover on this particular one hope it helps um, don't forget please subscribe to Asha World at the moment I have about 400 um, different air show uh, videos aircraft videos um, base videos, you name it, lots of stuff. Also, I do live um, um, feeds with um, um, a radar and um, radio, the radio showing at the same time. But yeah, so if you subscribe and select get notified notifications, you will always be updated as to my uh, latest uh, videos. Okay. Hope this helps for any of you guys out there using the um, Whistler TRX2. For people who are familiar with it, sorry if it's really basic stuff, but there's a lot of people out there first get these radios and they go, they're so daunting. For what do I do? This, I, I said in earlier ones, this is how I do things. I'm not saying this is the correct way of doing things. Okay, have yourself a good day and um, watch out for the next video coming very, very soon. And apologies for the voice. Thanks. Bye for now.